Good afternoon, Mahalakshmi. How are you today? Thank you. Good afternoon. Well, wonderful. And we're recording at the Shivananda Yoga Farm in Grass Valley. And I'm here with uh, Mahalakshmi. And she is doing a series of cooking classes called the Good Karma Diet. Um, and I know um, today's class was essentially a holiday brunch uh, that you put together, which mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. It sounds wonderful. Uh, but it was also super easy. And but you started out by showing, um, demoing how to make a vegan butter. Tell me a little bit about a vegan butter and, and what you did. Well, yeah, that's an excellent starting point because vegan butter or or butter is used throughout, right? Our lives. We butter mm -hmm. our bagels, you you butter things, butter muffins, and it gives that oil. It actually oilates the body. Mm -hmm. So Westerners can think that oil is is a is not so good for health, but in Ayurveda, we promote healthy oils, right? right. So when you look at vegan butters, uh, a lot of the ingredient is palm oil, which mm. is not necessarily a good product for the body, right? Mm. So it's vegan, but it's not necessarily healthy. Yeah. So yeah. When, we're, when we're cooking healthy, we want to look at the ingredients, right? We want to simplify, right? Less ingredients is better, mm -hmm. but we also want to look at the ingredient. So, mm. um, the inspiration for the vegan butter was a dear friend of mine, and she works with a Dr. Ornart. So she does a lot of uh, work with heart patients. Oh, Dr. She, Ornish? Yeah, she worked with him for years. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. Yeah. 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 So she was the uh, yoga instructor and kind of helped people make that bridge after heart uh, problems. So she was sure. an amazing teacher. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, we worked on this recipe together because of the palm oil. It started from that, from that exact thing. And being vegan is very important for a number of reasons, but being healthy is optimum, you know, whatever. Yeah, sure. So I, I think you make a couple of really great points. Um, there's healthy vegan, and then there's lots of things in, within the vegan realm that can be very unhealthy. Right. Um, and you also make the point that from an Ayurvedic perspective, it's important to look at the quality of the ingredients and how easy they are to digest. Correct. And healthy the oils are. Sure. All oils are not uh, equal. No, that's, that's a really great point. So this um, recipe came up um, because of palm, because of uh, the additive of palm. And it's pretty much across the board in vegan butters right now. Like I can't believe it's butter and this and that, and they promote it vegan. And people have the idea that vegan is healthy, but it's only as healthy as the ingredients. Of course. So we, we came up with this recipe back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And the recipe that we went over yesterday is only spreadable, which means you can't cook with it, right? Mm. Because you add almond flour. And when you add that almond flour to it, it creates that buttery, creamy taste. Mm. So it's quite lovely. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so I recommend anyone that's, that's cool. uh, researching and, and thinking of making that jump to a little bit of practicing vegan, that they look into the healthier aspects because you don't want to go vegan and all of a sudden turn yellow because you have liver difficulties or sure. something else fails. Yeah, so you want to yeah. look at the healthy aspects of vegan. That's great. Well, certainly when you're making a brunch with French toast, you might need vegan butter. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and, it, and let's, we'll just preface by saying this is a holiday brunch. So it's, 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 yeah. it's not, or, you not know, necessarily a weekly morning. fair. Well, it's Sunday, Sunday morning. morning when you're sure. having, you know, you have time and it's a two hour thing. You can stretch it. Of course. Of course. And I know you demoed um, French toast, but you showed two different ways that you make the French toast. One was uh, you were going to mm -hmm. do stovetop and the other one, almost like a bread casserole uh, in the mm -hmm. oven. Tell me a little bit about what you used. Uh, and this was a vegan recipe, I believe. Yeah, it actually, I kind of hijacked it. Um, my mother is French, and so we grew up with pen perdu. That was a staple. But okay. she also was a teacher, and so she had very little time. So she would make us uh, breakfast in the morning, and she would try and really make it French, but that's not an easy time usually. So she well, made yeah, when you're, you're you know, getting kids off to school and getting right? out to work. It's like she no, wants to make bechamel omelets sure. and she wants to make all this stuff. <laughs> so she really started to, to make things she could make the night before and then prepare it for us in the morning. Smart. So this is one of my favorites and she used to serve it all the time in the holidays. Never vegan though. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's 
has it's reminiscent of French toast, but it's you make it the day before, it refrigerates overnight, and you pop it in the oven in the morning. So mm. it reduces a lot of the steps. That's of wonderful. Bread. Yeah, and that's you really need that at the holidays too. And I know you used I I believe you did a combination of cashew milk and almond milk for your um mm. Yes, Is that correct. Was no. it cashew? Yes, it was cashew and almond. And then mm. we used, of course, the egg replacement, which is so important. So you used, we used, ground, you used a chia seed. Ground chia seeds. So you That's don't want to leave them whole. So ground chia seeds and you yeah. use one tablespoon chia seed ground to two tablespoons water. And you can go 2.5 if you're using a thicker nut milk, but sure. anywhere between those two. Okay, that's great because I I've certainly um, done egg replacement vegan, you know, with a flax egg and chia chia egg as they say, but I've never actually um, taken. I've never I've always used the chia seeds whole. So I like the fact that you're grinding them because they yeah they will pop, they will pop up and get that gel consistency and maybe you don't want that with your um, no. your French no. toast batter. No, you, yeah. So I always recommend grinding it. There's the okay. only. You know, when you make your yogurts in the morning and you add it, you can leave it whole. Sure. But for the texture and baking, it's not so good. Yeah, yeah, because it uh, you can definitely tell that it's chia seeds without grinding, yeah. no doubt. Um, let's see, uh, you did, uh, oh, you also prepared an Ashwan favorite. You prepared um, a tofu scramble. Tell me a little bit about your e easy peasy tofu scramble. Easy peasy tofu. And it really is delicious and it's so easy. And there's just a few things, you know, not it, a few things can go awry. So you want to make sure it ke it's kept moist. So um, it, it uses firm uh, tofu and you don't have to drain it or anything. You just take it out of the package and then you, you, create a scrambled egg consistency with your hands or with a masher. And you basically then you crumble you, it. Yeah, you crumble yeah, it. Okay. And then you just add whatever you have in your refrigerator. So it's mm -hmm. kind of, it's like one of those wonderful omelets you make in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I, uh, yesterday used a little bit of shredded carrot. I used uh, green peas and tomato. I always like tomato as a base because it keeps it juicy, right? It keeps it moist. Because even when you're making scrambled eggs, say you're, you're eating eggs in your diet right now, you know when they're dry, right? And they're just not tasty. Well, it's the same thing with scrambled tofu. So you want to keep that, uh, keep the tofu moist. But we seasoned it with fresh uh, mustard seed, cumin mm -hmm. seed, and a little bit of turmeric gives it that beautiful color. Yeah, yeah. I love, well, first of all, um, and did you also use uh, green curry leaves as well? Yes, green curry yes. leaves is always an option. Um, if you not have that many people available. have access. Yeah, if yeah. you have it though, I love them. I love them in yeah. any type of stew, lentil, dolls. It really is quite a beautiful flavor. And they it just bring it's indigenous. Yeah, I mean, they just bring they a very simple tofu scramble and just, you know, they just bring that, uh, wow, they just give you that power flavor. Oh, it does. And then you finish it with a little chopped cilantro and it's quite lovely. So you get that really green taste. That's wonderful. And I also love the fact that um, you're thinking about, you know, you don't want this tofu scramble to be dried on the plate. You know, a little bit of no. just that one tip with a little bit of tomato and keeping it moist is. Um, exactly. And serve it right when you finish cooking it. So it's not a dish that likes to sit. This is something that you prepare it and it's right on the plate. Yeah. Alamanu. Yeah. From okay. Alamanu. So straight Alamanu. from the plate to the saucer to the plate. Okay. And last but not least, you, you uh, demoed how to make uh, a lovely chai. Tell me how you make your chai or the ashram chai. Right. So everyone has a chai recipe. So right. So it can get very, very extreme. So <laughs> everyone puts cinnamon or many, many ingredients. There's up to like 50. I've had chais with 50 ingredients. Mm -hmm. And I am a, a purist. I like cardamom pods and ginger and, and cane sugar. And that's it. And good black tea. Okay. And so and one of the fr important fresh things, ginger, correct? Fresh ginger? Fresh ginger. Yeah. And okay. a lot of it. So you, you mm. usually use for four cups, at least the size of your finger minced of the root oh, wow, wow. and you can leave the the uh you can leave a little bit of the skin on as well 
So the skin okay. adds the flavor. I see. But one of the important things with chai is you never let, once you put the milk in, you never let that boil. You just bring it to boil and then you serve it. Okay. So when you add, you add the milk, it is the last step, correct? Right. So you add all your spices, your ginger, your cardamom, and you allow that to simmer for five or six minutes, just mm -hmm. simmering with warm water. You put, say, say you're making two cups, you put two cups of water in and you let it simmer. And once you simmer it, it gets the ginger and all the cardamom together. Mm -hmm. And then you add in one, one heaping teaspoon of black tea per cup, and you allow that to gently simmer, right? You don't want to boil that either. Then you, you can even take it off the heat. I've seen a lot of people take it off the heat just in case the tea gets a little bitter. Then okay. you add in your milk, you bring it up to room, you know, up to uh, almost boiling and you strain it into your cup. Okay, all right. Wonderful. And I usually put in about between a teaspoon to a tablespoon of sugar, depending. In okay. India, it's all sugar. They put in like I two see. tablespoons of sugar. And does the sugar go in before the milk as well? You can put it in before the milk or you can serve okay. it in the cups. I yeah. see. I see. But you, you do put it kind of towards the end. Okay. Well, it is, it is a, uh, it is a, even what you describe, which sounds pretty straightforward. There's a ritual to it. Definitely. So it keeps you very grounded. I mean, you'll, you'll notice when you're making a coffee, you kind of have that run instinct, right? Grab the coffee, put it down, you know, unless you have French enjoy their coffee, but unless you have kind of a ritual, it really yeah. is a speedy kind of thing, a to go kind of thing. Chai is definitely something that you take your time with. So you really allow the flavors to bloom, to blossom. So it's a wonderful cup of tea. That sounds fabulous. Well, thank you so much, Mahalakshmi. And we're at the Shivananda Yoga Farm in Grass Valley and uh, the Good Karma Diet every Monday at 3 p.m. Check out the website. Take care. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm.